Hello world, lockpicking dev. Before we start today's video, let's start the drawing and announce the winners to the giveaway that is in celebration of 500 subscribers and 200 videos. And uh, let's go ahead and start with the blue gorgeous Mako 425 logo lock. Robert Barley, congratulations. Uh, at the end of all these drawings, I'll put the instructions on how to contact me through uh, social media or my email. Now, let's go ahead and move on to our nicely finished and engraved Packlock UCS2A. Lock Heat Lock Picking, congratulations. You get the Packlock. On to the 16,000s medium hook with paddock handle. We have a total of nine. QR, 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 0515. Congrats, you get the hook. And again, I will put the instructions on how to contact me at the end of this. And finally, for the interchangeable multi pick tip handle. Don Picks, congrats. All right. And again, um, you can find the ways to contact me in my YouTube profile. If you go to um, the About Me section, where it just says About section, you can see all my social media there. Or it's Lockpicking Dev, U, the letter U, tube, T U B E, at gmail.com. And I'll put it over here to the side, right here. And you can email me there, and I prefer if you contact me through the email over here because then it'll be easier to keep track of. And um, I'll get these out as soon as possible. And in the meantime, please enjoy this video. Um, I went on a road trip after DEF CON, and uh, one of the first places I hit, well, the first place I did hit after leaving uh, Nevada was the Grand Canyon. And I just so happened to get the chance to pick a decent lock while the storm was rolling into the Grand Canyon and got to see some lightning which is kind of a dream of mine because I'm a storm lover so again thanks everybody for watching thanks everybody for joining in I hope everybody enjoys their their prizes and their gifts I love giving stuff back that is one thing I absolutely love about this community and that almost literally everybody I talk to that's been in this for a long time is everybody gives and gives and gives so please let me do the same all right everyone enjoy the video and thanks for watching hello world luck picking dev here today I have a master 6835 edge it's one of those fun keys that looks scary but when it comes down to it really isn't let's open the sucker up show you around get home gut it and show you what's inside I'm going to start in the back. Really? No. And I click out of two. So, no, not a click out of six. I like it, but it's not. There's five. There's thunder. <laughs> There's two. One. Another little click out of six there. Oh, I'm sorry, that's been five, not six. There's six. Hold on, let me get my, make sure my screen doesn't go dark on me. I want to be able to see what I'm looking at here. Okay. 
Du sidder med tommer ved der. Du sidder med ved der, og så tager jeg også over siden. Sit here, I think I had a little counter orientation on three. Maybe not. I don't think I was actually on the pin there. I don't feel it in the back. It's not six. Five feels pretty stiff. I had to turn my other camera off here. Let's go through gently here. Oh, you know what? I think it's pin one. There you go. There's pin one. Not two, I heard a click on two. Oh, oh, there we go. And there was three. That was our open right there. So there we go. So yeah, not too hard. Typical master lock uh, security pins in it, 60 or 35. Here's the, uh, here's what I mean by the scary key. It's got a little dimp on the side, but that does nothing. That's just key control. There's nothing you got to pick with that. And it is guttable. So when we get home, we will take it apart and show you what's inside. In the meantime, let me pick you up and show you around here at the Grand Canyon. We're at one of the points here at Grand Canyon. We're around this side here. A lot more sun still down that way. I'm gonna take a look over the edge real quick. So yeah, nice. Gorgeous. Beautiful view with my favorite, a thunderstorm rolling in. All right, everyone, when I get home, I will cut that for you, show you what's inside. And this is the south rim of the Grand Canyon. All right, be home soon. All right, I'm finally home, and whenever I see a key that looks like the Master Lock Edge key with something funky on it, I always like to do it on camera just in case something goes wrong. And uh, let's see, I don't think anything will. But um, let's see if something happens. We all might learn something new today. Besides the people that have already done this. Go. There's our core. Get a C clip off here. There we go. Now let's see what this looks like. So this will be a little interesting because the 
the back of the tail piece here isn't a full complete half of the back of the core it's more like a third of it um, the follower here is a half of the core so it's not exactly going to fit on as you can see right here as you can see there's a space between right there so um what I'm going to do is turn it more right there where it's almost upside down and that way our follower hits those driver pins immediately and here we go there we go Okay, there's yep, there's one of the ball bearings fell out right there. And here's another wall of one of them right here. So yeah, there's kind of rest in here. So okay, that's not too bad at all. We'll move that out of the way. Oh, there's another one right there. We'll figure out where that goes in a second. There's that side's one fell out. Two fell out. to come out first. Okay, nope, there's three. Four. Five. Bastard. Six. I'm thinking that there's two ball bearings on each side. Of course they're magnetic. Of course my tweezers are. I mean they're not magnetic, of course my tweezers are. You stay there. There you go. So here's the front. Spool, 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 serrated pin, and a spool. There we go. pins and here is our key so our bidding was not hard at all our pins are decent six pins uh, five spools one very lightly serrated pin there are five I almost don't even count those it's just like okay it almost feels a tad crunchy it just almost feels like a little bit of spring but yeah no so, yeah, not too bad of a pick, so don't let a key always intimidate you. And let's go ahead and, um, I might cut right here and end the video. Uh, if this takes too long, I'll be right back. Otherwise, I'm going to continue right now. I'm going to go ahead and rekey this. That way I can see how those ball bearings work. I think there's two on each side. I'm not positive. I don't see another hole in there. Okay, so there's our our core. Shit. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Saved. There's our core. And the part that sticks out more is the front. So here we go. 
So if I look at that, by the part that sticks out more that's the front means this part sticks out a little bit more right there out of the Bible right there. And that's how I remember that was the front. bit of the grease on them from this thing. Six. There we go. All right. Put our key back in. Now let's see how our ball bearings work here. Put one in. Yep. I think it's two. Is how it works. On each side. Yep. There we go. One, two on that side. This is fun. <laughs> Please don't fall out. That one fell off. They both freaking fell. There we go. Oh, bastards. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it's magnetic. Go. Actually, it'll work. There we go. Okay, we got both of those in. Just one second here. Look at the. Okay. Make sure the camera's focused and all. This is quite the uh, fun little task here. And so the grooves on this core right here are very deep. So I'm not worried about them catching them in the driver pins a whole lot. So when I put this back in, I'm going to make the core hit the driver pins first. Or actually, shit, I forgot. They won't. So I have to do it upside down. Here we go. Since I did it upside down, those damn shit. Pin six driver came out. Since I did it upside down, those damn um key retaining ball bearings got stuck in the opposite ones that they should have. Which makes sense. Oh, sorry about that. Focus back out. Alright, so I finally got it there. Uh, what I did is I just used a different follower that had a little bit less of an edge on it, and a little bit more shallow here, and was a little bit more careful with it. Anyways. This is the Master Lock Edge 6835, and that was the Grand Canyon. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.